What I love about the X Factor, I love my favourite thing about the X Factor, is when they've got somebody in the early rounds, well not even right at the end, but in the early rounds, first two rounds, even a boot camp, who they've decided is um, definitely going through to the next round, right? But they, they tease them a little bit. They tease them. They say things like, I'm, you know, really sorry. Uh, it's bad news, I'm afraid. You're uh, going to have to come back next week. And I love it when they do that. But I think it would be so much more entertaining if they did it the other way round. <laughs> so you've got someone who's really shit, they're not going through, right? But they'll say things like, well, listen, uh, I've, uh, I've got some, um, we talked about it with the other judges, and I've got some, uh, I'm say, uh, well, congratulations. You are going home. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, I used to, you're, 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 I've just been talking to your head teacher, you're Mr. Sweeney, but he's a quite cool head teacher, isn't he? It's quite cool, he's quite very liberal. You know, he's more like a youth club leader. <laughs> I like him, I like him. I was a teacher for many years, I used to teach at Hayden. Didn't go, I used to get in trouble all the time, I got in trouble with my headmaster there um, for having favourites. As a teacher, you're not supposed to have favourites, you know. I told the headmaster that I preferred the previous headmaster. <laughs> One of the weirdest things I ever did, I should never have done this, I took some children when I was a teacher to see Jack D in concert once. <laughs> they didn't want to go to see Shakespeare for some reason. And I took a group of kids about six, seven years ago to the Wickham Swan to see Jack D in concert. Has anyone ever seen Jack D in concert here? Yay! He did this thing, if you've seen him recently, you might have uh, allowed the audience to text messages to him. Did that happen? Yeah. Yeah. When we went, uh, they weren't doing texting, he did this thing at the end of the first half. He said to the audience, I'm going to leave some bits of paper on the stage. If any of you want to write a message, uh, write it down. There'll be pens there, and I'll read the messages out at the end of the show. The interval started, and the kids that I had brought with me basically went into a huddle, started casting glances in my direction, and rushed to the stage and started scribbling. And I thought, I do not want any attention here. I do not want any attention. It would be embarrassing. You know what I mean, Carl? It's not nice when you're in a comedy club audience and you start getting attention, is it? No. So I thought, I, I, what I did is the interval was happening, and I sneaked in. I went down to the stage and I started looking through the notes that people had written and I found the one with my name on it. I found it and, uh, and I, I put it in my pocket and I walked away. And then for some reason, and I do not know to this day why I did this, something in my head just suddenly went, no, no, don't leave it at that, Joel, don't leave it at that. And I went back and I wrote a message of my own. And I still remember the wording on that message. I wrote to the students at Hayden School, your message to me has not been read out because it is in my pocket. Better luck next time, Mr. Sanders. And I sat down and the show restarted and immediately I regretted what I had done because the whole point of me sneaking in and taking that bit of paper and putting it in my pocket is that I knew I did not want any attention and I couldn't work out why I had done this thing. And at the very end of the show, it was for the encore, he starts reading through various messages and to my absolute horror, every message he read out was anonymous. Nobody had put their name on the message. Nobody at all. And I'm shitting myself, I'm sitting there, I'm sweating, I'm sweating. And he literally saved it till the last one and he goes, oh, I've got one from a teacher. I've got one from a teacher, it says, to the students at Hayden School, your message to me has not been read out, because it's in my pocket. Better luck next time, says Mr. Sanders. Well, what a smug cunt he sounds like. In your pocket, is it, Mr. Sanders, in your pocket? At that point, he put his hand into his jacket, pulled out about 12 pieces of paper. Well, which one to Mr. Sanders shall we read out? <laughs> Let's go for this one, shall we? To Mr. Sanders, from your students, would you please stop wanking in the stationery cupboard? It's <laughs> the last time I took Year 7 on a school trip. 